Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working on my second stitch on my list and that is going to be the half double crochet. It naturally seems like the place to go after single crochet. It's what I learned after I learned single crochet. Um, and I'm just at the beginning here learning how to record, learning how to edit, and um, getting the hang of the filming and documenting part. So I want to stick with the stitches that I know like the back of my hand. <clears throat> so I'm starting off on the two rows of single crochet that I did yesterday. And I'm just going to chain two to get my um, yarn up to the right height for half double crochet. And then yarn over, insert my hook into the stitch, pull through a loop, yarn over, and then I'm gonna pull through all three loops that are on my hook. And I'm gonna do that over and over again, I guess 40 times. I have uh, 20 stitches per row for this little sampler. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep doing it this way because I know some of the stitches that I have on my list that I want to do involve increases or decreases or are better in a different shape other than a rectangle. So um, for right now, I'm just knocking out the stitches that I know really well. Uh, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, moss stitch. Like everything I know, like the back of my hand, I'm just gonna film while I get the hang of this. And then the goal is to move on and learn some new stitches. That's the whole point of the project. So, um, mm, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, I'll be ready to do that. Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't made a list yet. That I need to work on that. Make a make a plan and make a list for all of the stitches that I know off the top of my head and I want to film. Uh, but I haven't gotten there yet, and I haven't I haven't exactly defined the rules. I know that a daily challenge involving setting up the camera, crocheting, filming, editing doing a voiceover is probably not going to work for me because I have three kids and a full-time job. Um, so uh, a full year every single day challenge probably is not realistic, but I want to explore my craft and learn as many new things as I can this year instead of just you know, repeatedly making the same things, repeatedly using what I already know. I, it's been a while since I've expanded and learned something really new to me. So that's my goal. And hopefully I'll be super proud if I can get 220 different stitches done in some way, shape, or form throughout the year. I think that'll be really great. Um, I don't know what kind of schedule that would mean, though. Maybe, maybe instead of doing daily actual videos I might shift and do um, like a weekly wrap-up at some point um, right now the practice is good the filming and editing like I just recorded this entire video but I wasn't recording the voiceover so <laughs> there's one thing uh, one reason to keep doing a video every day for right now but once I get the hang of it I might I might slow down and just um, make sure that I'm doing all of the stitches that I want to do. Make sure that I'm crocheting nearly every day. But change the filming plan a little bit because it's only been two days and this is already a lot. We'll see what happens. I'm all... Is this the first row or the second row? I've been sitting here blabbering on, so I don't know. It looks like this is the end of the first row. Nope, there's two there. Okay, 
wow, I talked through the entire video. So you can, I had two rows of single crochet, two rows of half double crochet, and I will be back tomorrow with double crochet. Thanks. Bye.